the crowd behind me here are not people queuing up for palliative or seeking for some form of help. They are citizens who came to withdraw their money. For some time now, it has become an Herculean task for people to withdraw their own money from the bank. Even when they open for business, the banks offer unsatisfactory services to the people. And up till now, some are yet to open their doors for business in order to relieve their customers from the excruciating hardship the scarcity of bank notes has heaped on them. They say the banks are not working, that they send information to them to lock the bank. And other banks are working, and we've not eaten, and I'm very, very hungry. I don't have the strength, and I came all the way from Saple Road. And as has become the order of the day, the crowd of customers at First Bank on the popular King Square Benin City was unprecedented. They all expressed disgust over their plight. Do you know that since 630 I've been here, they deny us entry. We have been here suffering, no place to sit, no place to rest. I came to call Western Union and they told me because of politics they will not give me the money. I did not bring my international passport so I should go and come back. My wife went to and bring my international passport before you know the bank closed. Pensioner, they paid my mates since on the 23rd. I have not got my money and I have no money to buy drugs. This is the much I have on me here. So I came all the way from uh, Uwelu, dropped at Mobile Junction, and I have been trekking. You can see me sweating, only to get here and see this mammoth crowd. Me come here now. I want to submit my old notes. May I collect money? They say now 5,000 naira. I did here six, seven o'clock this morning. The question is, how long? Shall this continue? One only hopes that the authorities concerned will hearken to the cry of the people. From Benin, Pius and Sogo reporting.